What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Mr. Fox. Oh wait, hold on, wait. It was terrible. Hold on. Wait a minute. Here we go. There we go. What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Mr. Fox back in the house and you know what time it is. It's time for my reaction to Unordinary Episode 123, Chapter 126. Whatever floats your boat, whatever gets you by. And like I said, this same shirt from the last one. All these recording the same day, but that's enough talking. Let's get into this chapter. Knock, knock. Ooh, it's Elaine. Coming. Gosh, who'd be knocking so early? I swear, if it's those three again, I'll open the door. Okay, she's surprised. John, what are you doing here? You know why he's here. Obviously, Seraphine ain't making home. Come on, let's cut to the chase here. Is Sarah there? She didn't come back yesterday. I thought she was with you. Uh-oh. Black speech mode, you know what time it is. That means it's go mode. Alrighty. Move. Push her. Move out the way. Hey, you can't just barge in like this. Yagging. I told you she isn't here. Tat, 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 tat. Just walking away. <laughs> I still think of tap dancing, y'all. Opens the door. Sarah. Did you say Sarah? Whatever. Sarah Fina, whatever. We may see Elaine again. And she is obviously scared for her life right now. Where is she? That's a good question. Why are you just not getting straight into it? Why are you just not asking this question? You should have been wondering that last night and you should have got off your tail. You wait till the next morning. Hey, you should really loosen up a bit. I already told you I'm doing fine. Look, I'm just saying you need to relax every once in a while. Uh, excuse me? Hmm? Oh, hi, Elaine. Long time no talk. Morning, Holden. <laughs> um, Arlo, would you mind if we speak in private? <laughs> Look at Holden. Oh, in private, huh? He's like, I see you. I see you, you little devil, you. Could you leave us? <laughs> you betcha. He's like, go get him, tiger. <laughs> Have fun, you two. He's excited. He's like, I see my boy over there. He getting some. He getting some. He getting the number. Getting the digits. Getting in cozy with it. He's stupid. What is it, Elaine? Follow me. Walking, 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 walking down the hallway. Walking, walking, walking. And here he is. I wonder who. And it's John. You're kidding. I told you I'm not putting up with your crap anymore. So you made Elaine trick me into meeting up with you. Shady prick. I'm sorry, Arlo. I had no choice. Oh, right. Because you've never done that, done it before. Point taken. <laughs> Anyway, I meant what I said. I'm out of here. Have a lot to do today. Don't take another step. Ooh, he's shouting. Hold up. Move. Move. Wait. Please, Arlo. We need your help. Serafina is missing. She never came back to the dorms last night. What? We think she might have gotten herself into some trouble with some other students. Hmm. What are you looking at? Looking at you, son. Nice going. What's that supposed to mean? You never cease to amaze me, John. Even though you two, even though the two of you spend almost every waking moment together, you somehow still manage to lose sight of her. I agree. <laughs> Idiot. Shut the up, Arlo. Hey, 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 there's no... Well, 
There's no you you saying these you saying the f bomb to the wrong person. You see me saying to these people, what the f are you doing? And, you know, you see you gotta direct it at other people. This whole thing happened because you weren't competent enough to stop the news from spreading. I disagree with that. Please, she exposed herself. That has nothing to do with me. Point. While you two were just. While you two, while the two of you just continued to brush things off like nothing had changed, I was the only one who tried to cover up for her carelessness. It's true, he did. Neither of you pulled your weight. So don't expect me to fix it. No, so don't expect me to fix everything on my own. Arlo is Arlo is dropping straight knowledge right now. I remember at the beginning, the beginning of the series, I completely and utterly dislike him. I still dislike him, but I understand his plight now. Especially with this whole situation. This was John and Serafina's fault. Mostly John's. Excuses. If nothing, this just proves how worthless of a king you are. Ooh, John got some bite though. Yanking him up. What did you say? Elaine's like, oh gosh. This, guys, please. We're not here to fight each other. Are we, though? We need to find Serafina. Point. Listen to her. She's making sense right now. Slap his hand away. That's right, dumbass. You heard her. Ooh, John. Is, <laughs> he's un understandably upset, but still mostly his fault. He should never let her go on her own after class. Go figure out where she is. John's still barking orders like, like he actually running something. It's actually getting on my nerves right now because it's... He's doing it at the wrong times, and but he's not hes not really making it easy to cooperate with people. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, Arlo, little, he about to snap. No. <laughs> right, it's plain and simple. No. What? Why don't you show me how it's done, John? Go on. Show me how much more capable you are. John, John don't know what to do right now. You clenching the fist at the wrong person, dog. Find her yourself. Arlo, you... Ooh, darn. Just straight up like that? And then you punch the man in the face. Don't f with me right now. Well, you didn't say that. But don't F with me. This might be this might be the, the um thumbnail for the video. Because my man... You gotta remember, Arlo ain't no wimp. He took he he's eating this punch like really, really you gonna punch me? <laughs> then he grabbed him. You know, I've been trying to figure you out all this time. Even after everything I've done, after I got Seraphina suspended, after I dragged you to the outskirts and had Melly and Ventus ambush you, why would you still call on me? Why not keep your distance? Pure facts, because that human, not even human nature. Nature would persuade you, like, after I, even though after you beat him, like, I'm gonna stay away from this cat. I don't want nothing to do with him no more. But he has a point. John is still calling on him. It's because you want all the authority of a king without having to deal with any of the burden. So you're leeching off of me. Just how you leech off of Serafina. Oh! Oh my goodness! My main, oh, dropping, dropping bombs, stuff, oh, <laughs> man, it's so true, you're greedy, yep, my point proving me more, because John, John knows, it. deep down, he don't want to admit it, but deep down, he knows it's exactly, it's exactly as he said, and then he pushed him, <laughs> I won't stand for this any longer, come on, Elaine, we're leaving, and Elaine, Arlo, get back here. Nope, he ain't listening. Standing up. I'm warning you, Elaine. Yep. It's it's happening. It's happening all over again. And John is even it hasn't even a king this time. Well not not technically, but he has the powers to do so. Ugh. Damn it. Ugh. That'll shut him up. All bark and no bite. So useless. In this case, yeah. But that's, like you said, I agree with Arlo. Well, 
I agree with what Arlo said. He is leeching off him. He wants to be the king, but he doesn't want the responsibility. I know John is disturbed, but even so, I don't think we should abandon the Serafina, especially now that she's powerless. Elaine also coming in with the facts today. What if something happens to her? <laughs> Arlo's like, I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> Sigh. Fine, call Eason. Huh, really? Tell him to start scouting for info on Serafina and make sure he keeps this, keeps this case a secret. We don't know who exactly is involved in all this, so if news spreads that people are looking for Serafina, finding her might be more difficult. I'll gather a few I'll gather a few more to help with the search. You're right. Despite all her foolishness, Serafina is still one of us. Look at Arlo! Showing some character development here and standing up to John. Even though he's still a if we can break him of this whole hierarchy thing, I think we'll be good to go with him. <laughs> She's smiling. I'm on it. I'm on it. I got five on it. Ring, 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 ring. Eason picks up the phone. Oh, hey, Elaine. What's up? Oh, so there's Ventus and is it Ellie? Ellie? Whatever. No matter. So they got the they got the worry. He's probably like he's like here's a here's the task. Do it or I'll beat your tail. And let's see, who's running? John's running all over the place as he sh he should have been doing from the get go. But he should. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do with you, Sarah? Where are you? And um, this chapter, just like the other two, is in. Infuriating because one John needs to work on his social skills and how to be polite when you're trying to ask the help of people. John, even though John doesn't like the hierarchy, he it's it's kind of obvious that he still indulges in it when he you know when his speech bubble turns black because you know when he's when he's acting like a cripple you know he's you no know, more polite and all that but when he's like you know he's on he's acting just like the people he hates. And he's going to have to realize this, which I thought he did. But, you know, we'll talk about it more. Um, like I said, this chapter was infuriating, mainly because of John. I enjoy the character development from them both, mostly Arlo. But, you know, we'll talk more about it in my reviews. But, you know, do all the stuff that I normally tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications when I drop more videos because I will be doing that a lot more, especially this year. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs. But with all that being said, it's your boy Fox.